What's up, YouTube? This is JP Panther back on a video, and today's video is going to be another uh, comic book video discussion video. And this is something I really want to talk about because it's kind of been on my mind since Avenger after uh, the events of Avengers Endgame, and you know, it's from Spider Man Far From Home. So, I really want to talk about it through this video. And the topic in the discussion of the video is going to be is going to be who should be the who is the next candidate or the next superhero. Who should be the leader of the Avengers starting Phase 4? And I'm going to break it down. Also, I wrote a lot of stuff as well, so I could go more in depth with it. So I'll read stuff from here as well. But we're going to get into it, and I'll start right now. Uh, I do feel like, you know, Iron Man, Captain America are gone. Hulk is pretty much gone. Thor is still around, but he's a fat ass. Let's just be 100% honest. And then you have um, uh, Hawkeye. Again, it looks like he's going to have his Disney Plus TV show. And it looks like he's going to do his own thing and try to train uh, Kate Bishop. And uh, Hulk is crippled. And Black Widow's dead. And this is why I feel like... these. This is the reasons why. You know, again, I'm going to go more in depth with it right now. Uh, Black Widow, she's dead. I already talked about that part. Uh, Guardians, you can't do because they're in space and they do a lot of buffoonery. And they're like mercenaries. So you can't make them the leaders. Um, Captain Falcon, no. <laughs> Winter Soldier, no. Scarlet Witch, no. Valkyrie, no. Um, I'm trying to think who else you'll do. Um, 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 I have to really, really think. Uh, Shang Chi is new. Internals are new. Um, female Thor, no. So again, like you have. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think who else can be the next candidate. And um, Captain, no, 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 see, I'll do Doctor Strange. Kinda yes, but the thing is that he, the problem with Doctor Strange is that he does all the, he handles all the dimensions and worlds and stuff like that, so he's very occupied, you know, when it comes to fixing parallel worlds and, you know, knowing things uh, 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 during the future and seeing things in the future and stuff like that, so he's very, very occupied dealing with the dimensions and worlds and parallel dimensions and time and stuff like that, so I don't think he can lead right away i mean he's a good candidate but i don't think he can lead he's too busy um my first opinion spider-man is way too young and again if you saw spider-man far from home it looks like everyone's gonna try to kill him and his identity is revealed so that's number one and in my personal opinion captain marvel even as much as they keep saying captain marvel captain marvel and i wrote this stuff down to make sure captain marvel this is all the stuff i wrote captain marvel she isn't a leader she is always in space She's always running away from a problem when things get hard. A leader doesn't do that, which is true because in Avengers Endgame, you know, she pops up and it pops out and say, oh, I'm an independent, you know, superhero. I got plenty of other stuff to take care of. Bye. I mean, that's pretty much Captain Marvel. And, you, you know, and then my personal opinion, and this is why I feel like he should be the leader. And you guys already know who's going to be Black Panther. And I wrote the stuff down why he should be the leader of the next Avengers. You know, I wrote a lot of this stuff down to make sure that if you guys could agree with me and disagree with me. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm going to tell you why he should be the leader of the Avengers. Number one, Black Panther is the best choice to be the leader of the Avengers. Number one, he's already had four movies. He had Civil War, Black Panther, Avengers, Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. So the general public already know who he is. Um... Every, everybody loves him, normies, moviegoers, comic book fans, black, white, Latino, Asian, gay, SJWs, conservatives, liberals, Republicans, Democrats. His film made one point made one billion three hundred forty six hundred million. It made one billion one billion three hundred forty six hundred million dollars worldwide dollars. Let's just be honest. He has the money and power and leadership to run, lead the Avengers, which is true, it's, it's, which is very, very true. He has the financials, the resources, and stuff like that. His sister is smarter than the Hulk, Iron Man, and majority of the Avengers. Can fix problems a lot quicker and faster than all the other um, Avengers. Because if you watch Black Panther, the very, very last post credit scene, he, she erased... All the stuff that was in Bucky's mind with Hydra and all that stuff got rid of in like a day. That's how smart she is. Uh, also, 
the Wakandans are super smart and can take care of these these great big issues like these big giant villains that want to blow up the world and stuff like that and the, and they can take they have the technologies and tools and have the intelligence to take care of all these issues in a snap almost like because they're that super super smart they're like beyond genius smart uh black panther is connected to namor x-men fantastic four if you guys don't know from the com in an avengers if you don't know black panther the way stan lee created him is that he's connected to so many characters from other marvel series and comic book runs that he is necessary for the franchise and the mcu going forward that's how stan lee and jack kirby set him up it's like we have a black superhero and we're going to make sure he connects to every single major story character and major storyline and major uh super heroes and super villains and stuff like that he's very very connected in the into a lot of these big popular marvel characters that you see on the big screen he's also um you know, I mean, that's 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 how I feel. I feel like you know he's the best candidate to be the leader of the Avengers. Even if Kevin Feige says, "Oh well, you know, we're gonna make Captain Marvel the leader of the Avengers," stuff like that, bro. And this is all the stuff I wrote, bro. It's been two movies. We seen her in her first. I'm trying to remember the other. She, you know, she we seen her in two movies, Captain Marvel and Endgame. She has shown you by two of her movies that she has zero zero she has zero leadership skills she has no leadership skills at all because if you're a leader you got lead you know what i mean you can't just run away and duck when things get hard and she has no leadership skills in my perspective uh when the world is about to be destroyed she just runs to space that's pretty much captain marvel at least what we've seen on big screen again it, it, unless more movies and she's in more movies and stuff like that she's more connected but Again, this is just what well, these are the first two impressions we've seen of her in Captain Marvel and in Avengers Endgame. That's just how it is. Uh, and also, she works better as like a team player, even in the comics. Like, her doing her own solo thing isn't as interesting, but putting her in a group and her leading and stuff like that makes the character a lot better, obviously. <laughs> If you watch Spider-Man Far From Home, there there are huge message there are huge messages and Easter eggs showing you that she can't lead the Avengers. If you watch the last post credit scene with um the, not the first one, but the last post credit scene where Nick Fury is in space with the scrolls and stuff like that, that sets up Sword S W O R D. That's their version of Shield. Sword is pretty much Shield, but in space. And in the comics, and I read a lot of them, you know good amount of Captain Marvel comics is that she's always in space and she operates in sword the operation so much that she has no time to even co to connect and even talk to an Avenger so how is she going to be able to run the Avengers while she's in space and she's dealing with another uh, shield type organization but in space and uh, John remember and that's not good for a leader. Like, even in Spider-Man, they're asking, oh, where's Captain Marvel? She's off-world. First of all, she's off-world, and you guys don't even know where she is if something were to happen. So, again, like, she cannot lead the Avengers as much as they want to pump it up to you. And also with Black Panther, you know, he's a cool character. Everyone likes him. He has that, um, you know, cool costume. Everybody likes him. He has, like, a Batman kind of vibe towards him. You know what I mean? So, again, I feel like he's the best choice. And also, um, another reason I think Black Panther will be the best leader for the Avengers is because it will make a lot of these SJWs, if you don't know SJWs, is social justice warriors, it will make a lot of liberals happy to see a black uh, African king leading the Avengers to a, and doing it on a super worldwide mainstream audience on the biggest platform on the planet. So and that's a huge psychological uh, message in the image of that fantasy fiction type position. I think that can inspire a lot more people and make a lot more people a lot more happy. And I think nobody, majority people wouldn't complain. These are just my talking points. And also uh, another thing is why I said Black Widow could be a better uh, leader. Again, she's dead. So you see how Marvel treats their female characters. Black Widow is a better lead than Captain Marvel because, you know, if you watch any of the Marvel movies since Iron Man 
two to the end she has shown you that she has the intelligence and the fighting and the skills and you know has the leadership role to uh lead the avengers as well i feel like she's a better candidate uh, to lead, I think Black Widow's a better candidate to leading the Avengers than Captain Marvel. So if you're talking about female lead, she's the best and honest. And also, you know, she's dealt with her training when she, in the comics, even in the movies, you know, her being a kid and fighting all these different Black Widows and uh, the thing with Hawkeye and stuff like that. So again, she's a demonic killer. She's really intelligent, agent, all that stuff. So again, Black Widow is a better candidate to lead the Avengers than Captain Marvel, but they killed her off. But overall, I'm saying Black Panther is the best candidate, in my personal opinion, to lead the Avengers going Phase 4, Phase 5, and six, Phase 6. That's my personal opinion. If you guys agree with me, disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. Rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.